This evening, 20 years after her body was found in a cornfield on the side of the road, investigators in Racine County say they have identified Jane Doe. Not only that, but they also have one person in custody. The person detectives say killed her. Fox 6's Brett Lemoyne live in Caledonia where Jane Doe is laid to rest and finally has her identity back. This is a fascinating case, Brett. Fascinating and heartbreaking as well. For 20 years, no one knew who was buried in this grave. Well, tonight we know, and people have been leaving flowers and even putting her name on this tombstone here. Peggy Lynn Johnson, sadly, was brutally murdered. Her alleged killer is someone who detectives say abused Johnson for years. Racine County Sheriff Christopher Schmaling closing a 20-year-old cold case. We are angered. Uh, by this senseless and brutal murder of this young woman, and we want to, and we want justice served. On July 21st, 1999, Schmeling says 23-year-old Peggy Lynn Johnson's body was found in a cornfield in the town of Raymond, badly injured. The utter barbaric brutality inflicted on this young woman is something that none of us will ever forget. Johnson grew up in Illinois and was never reported missing. Her mother, father, and brother are all deceased. After her mother died. Peggy, who was approximately 18 years old, cognitively impaired, on her own, went searching for help at a medical clinic in McHenry, Illinois. There, investigators say she met a nurse, Linda LaRoche. Now 64 and living in Florida, she's been charged with homicide and hiding a corpse. Deputies say LaRoche took Johnson into her home and for the last five years of her life, physically abused her and made her live in a crawl space. A tip just a few weeks ago indicated LaRoche had spoken of killing a woman back in Illinois. We are angered uh, by this senseless and brutal murder of this young woman, and we want, to, and we want justice served. Detectives say LaRoche told them Johnson overdosed on pills and became too difficult to live with. Investigators say LaRoche admitted to driving Johnson to Wisconsin and leaving her at the side of the road. Police say the condition of Johnson's body points to something far more sinister. Year after year after year, we plugged away at this case, never giving up. Now, before the tip to police, Schmeling says both LaRoche and Johnson's names had never come up during the investigation. Johnson's body will now be moved to be buried next to her mother in Illinois. Reporting live in Caledonia, Brett Lemoyne. Fox 6 News. Just amazing to see a name on that grave after all these years. Brett, thank you. This is worth your time. We streamed all of the news conference with the Racine County Sheriff on this case. There really are fascinating details in that press conference. Visit fox6now.com or the Fox 6 News app. You can find the video right there on our homepage.